Welcome back. So we finished this loop flow in the last video, and now we're going to do some testing. So the first thing we need to do is find an opportunity to test on. So let's go open up the home tab of Salesforce here, and we'll just look at the list of opportunities and see if anything pops up. There's that Burlington Textiles one uh, from earlier. I'm going to click all opportunities, and I just want to see, OK, here's a good one. So I was looking for an account that maybe had three or four opportunities, and this Edge Communications one just jumps right out at me. So I'm going to open up the first one in my list here, and I'm just looking to get uh, the opportunity ID out of the URL and maybe the name. Uh, what I could do here is just change the name to like test, and that way when we search for it in the flow debugger, it's easy to find. So uh, edge emergency generator test. And we see that the opportunity notes is blank, so that's perfect. So I'm going to jump back over to the flow builder, and uh, we'll press debug here. And we can um, enter the opportunity name, and we see that edge emergency generator test. And I don't know if we've done this in the course before. I think many times we've just uh, clicked skip start condition requirements and just run the flow. But we can actually update this record. And this is a good way to do it because, um, or a good time to show you that this is possible because this is um, really helpful. It's a really good feature to know about. So we have this opportunity, the edge emergency generator test, and we can actually manually make an update to this record as if um, we were in the UI. And what this will do is it will um, allow us to make the same changes that we need to make in order to trigger our flow that an end user would. And so this is kind of a long way of explaining. But if we update the opportunity notes right here, that should trigger our flow. And that's really helpful because we can make changes uh, in the flow builder and just make sure that our start logic is working. And so that's what we'll do. Uh, we have our opportunity selected, and we can update these notes here. And so I can just call it uh, my first notes. And I'm going to press run, and we'll see what happens. And so right away, we see that uh, the flow debug uh, ran successfully, so we didn't get any errors. That's really good. If we go look at the interview, uh, how the interview started, we see that uh, some of the pre-configured you know, configured things here, like the opportunity ID are present, and then uh, what time we started the flow. We look at the start condition requirements, and we can see that um, the notes were changed, so that looks good. And then it went to the next step, where uh, we found all the related opportunities. Um, specifically, we looked for those opportunity records where the account ID was the same as the current opportunity, and um, the ID, that looks interesting, the ID equals the record ID. So that might be a bug. Uh, let's go look at that. Ah, OK, so that is a bug there, um, where the ID equals the opportunity ID. We actually want this to be not equal to, because we want to update all the other opportunities rather than just this opportunity ID. And I bet um, many of you probably caught that in the last lecture. So if that's been uh, <laughs> if that's been triggering uh, in your mind, it's like, hey, we need to update that, then uh, good job catching that, and we will make that update. So I'll, I'll just make that change where the ID does not equal the current record ID and press done, and then I'll press save. And we can kind of continue reading through the debug log here. So um, this just, what did it do? It looped through. There was only a single opportunity due to the kind of uh, odd logic that we had, or the, the bad logic that I had here. Um, if you had already updated yours, then your uh, debug may look different. So we looped through one opportunity. We updated the notes and added it to the collection. The loop ended because there was only one record, and then we didn't update. Um, and it just, I guess, updated that same field. So let's uh, press edit flow again. And we'll just do another debug run now that we've updated that uh, collection logic. And so again, I will look for the edge emergency generator test. And in the opportunity notes, I'll say my first notes. Or, well, I guess this is, our, this is our second notes. So my second notes. And I'll press run. And here we see that everything ran again, but the uh, output in the debug details looks a little differently. Uh, specifically, we have more loops. So that's really good. That means that our uh, change here of the get related opportunities was successful. And so I won't read through the whole debug details again, but I guess it's it's enough to note that we have uh, you know, a couple opportunities that we're looping through, looks like three. And for each one, we update uh, the notes and then add it to a collection. And then at the very end, uh, we update, it looks like all of the 
opportunities, we see the ID and the notes in our uh, updated opportunity collection, and those get saved in Salesforce. And then we're just roll, rolling back the flow by default. So it seems like this is working. Um, you know, the debug details appears to be doing what I would expect it to do. We can put it to the ultimate test by activating the flow and then going to the actual edge emergency generator test and uh, updating this opportunity. And so what I will do instead of doing the update here, just so we can see it better, I'm going to click the opportunities tab and I'm going to click new and we're going to make a new list view. And so this will be called uh, edge communications ops and I'll save that and we'll just filter by owner. We'll make it all opportunities and then the account name equals I'll type in edge communications here and we'll press done and I will press save. And so we see that now we just have a list view only for the edge communication opportunities. And so what I'm going to do now is just change the fields that are going to display. I guess that may be the first time we worked with list view fil filters, but uh, I'm just adding filters to this list view so that we see only a select few opportunities. And then I'm going to change the fields that are showing in this list view so that uh, we can get that opportunity notes field. So I'll trade out the owner alias and um, I'm going to scroll down here looking for the opportunity notes and they're right there. So I'll move them over to the right. And then I'll just move this up to be right after the account name and press save. And so what I've done here is I have made a list view where, um, oh, I wanted to edit this, but that's fine. Um, I've made a list view where we can see all the opportunity notes. So I think we would have to specify a record type to make this list view editable or, or have inline edit. And I don't think that um, this trailhead environment has a record type. So we'll just skip that step for now. I'll go back to our generator test record by uh, middle clicking and opening it in a new tab. I will update these opportunity notes here. So I can say, um, you know, edge communications really enjoys um, our latest generator. They hope we build more like it. I'm not sure if that's a note the sales team would actually leave uh, on an opportunity, but um, I'm just testing the notes functionality. So we'll save this. We would expect our flow to run. And then if we go back to this list view and refresh it, I would hope that all the opportunity notes are populated with that exact same note. So let's see. We refresh and sure enough, those notes have now um, been propagated to every other opportunity. So that's awesome. That means our first flow is working. And if we go back to the edge emergency generator, and if we change this to be, um, this is our second note, our second note, and press save. Uh, again, we see that that um, was propagated to all our other opportunities. So that's it. Uh, we'll leave the the testing there for the first flow. And in the next video, we'll get into talking more about how we're going to build out uh, the rest of Pedro's requirements.